Hiya, this is Charlie and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the name servers for a domain that you've registered through GoDaddy.com. Uh, now the reason you might want to do this, well no, the reason you will want to do this is because you're not using GoDaddy hosting. You've done your domain registration through Go, GoDaddy but your hosting is somewhere else entirely. It might be with my company for example uh, and that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to, I'm going to show you how you can change your um, DNS settings so that, or your, your domain settings so that uh, your DNS actually points and says to the internet your website is hosted over here go go and get your website from from this hosting provider now there's a couple of things you're going to need when you uh, do this process the first one is your GoDaddy username and password of course that will have been sent to you when you registered your domain uh, and if it will be in an email and if you don't know it you will have to contact GoDaddy directly and ask them for assistance I'm afraid I can't help you there the second thing you're going to need are the name servers for the hosting provider that you're going to use. Now they will be given to you as well when you set up your hosting account uh, and if you're lucky they will give you instructions on how to do it as well. However, let me go through this video for you. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go to godaddy.com and click on the sign in button and click on registered users sign in. Let me do that a little bit more slowly for you. Sorry, I'm a bit quick sometimes. So godaddy.com, uh, click on the sign in link uh, up here on the top right hand corner and then choose registered users and click the sign in button. You'll see I've already got the usernames uh, or customer number saved off on the form. Uh, that's just a function of my browser and I still need to enter the the password though so I'm going to enter that now and hopefully type it correctly ignore my RoboForm pop-up and you'll see I've got two domain names um, registered the one that we want to change is uh, chirf.org and what we need to do is click on the DNS button so let me let me go through where you might find this information it's under the my products tab uh, if you look up here on the top left hand corner where my mouse is at the moment uh, you click on my, my products locate the domain section uh, in in your list um, now the reason I say that is you might have other products that you've purchased and they might be above them so it, domains may not necessarily be at the top of the um, the list so locate domains make sure it's expanded out because um, it might look like that make sure it's expanded out by clicking on the arrow locate the domain you want to manage and then click on DNS okay so then you get the records tab up or the records panel up um, or you may get a message saying that this is managed elsewhere in this case uh, the domain name is actually using uh, GoDaddy DNS and we're going to we're about to change that so this panel may or may not appear you might get a message just telling you that um, the, the the DNS is managed elsewhere that's okay scroll down though to where it says name servers uh, you'll see in this case it says using default name servers that's fine uh, that this is what we want to change and it'll give you the name servers we're using click on the change button in this case it says default it might already say custom because it might be pointing somewhere else in this case I want it to be a custom name server and all I'm going to do is change uh, or enter in this case the name service for my hosting provider or the hosting that I provide to clients so ns1.geekgoddesswebhosting.com ns2.geekgoddesswebhosting.com once that's done uh, click on save now you need to be very certain that you're ready for this to happen um, when you do it because once that's done that's going to point to your new hosting provider and everything is going to point to your new hosting provider we just had a pop-up saying please check your mail sorry I, I scrolled off the screen for that uh, there was a pop-up saying please check your mail for a confirmation email once that's done uh, it takes a couple of minutes for the updates to go through but once it's done 
those um, that that change will be made and it will point to the new hosting provider. Now it does take a little while for the DNS entries to update through the internet. It's not instantaneous. It's not you change it here and everywhere in the whole wide world knows that this change has been made. It's a little um, bit like a Pony Express. This, uh, th this service will no notify the next services up from it that there's been a change and then they'll notify the next services up from there. Them. So it takes a little while to spider out through the internet. It could take several hours depending on your, your own ISP um, and where you're located. Uh, sometimes it's fairly quick. Uh, it really does just depend. So you do need to be a little bit patient and make sure you give yourself a bit of time when you're making these changes that to, to make sure that they go through um, properly. It's not something you can say, oh my goodness, we need to do this and it needs to be done yesterday. You do need a few hours just to make sure that everything propagates through the internet correctly. But that's it. Once that's done, let me just go back to this screen now. We're going to go back to my domains. This is a different screen to the one we were just on. Once you click on My Domains, uh, select the one that you want, hit the down the, the little arrow on the right hand side, click Manage DNS again. So it's the same option, it's just in a different place. And you'll see that um, now we get that we can't display your DNS information because the name servers aren't managed by GoDaddy and it's telling us that it's already updated the records and pointed them to our server or the server that you're looking for. So that's it, you're done. Um, if you're having troubles after this, certainly um, seek assistance. Uh, sometimes things can get a bit screwy, sometimes you might have typed something wrong. There are people out there that can help you, like myself. We can help you uh, troubleshoot what might be the problem or what might not be the problem. But we're going to need some information if we're going to help you. Okay, I hope that one's been helpful. Um, I'm going to move on and do some more videos. You guys have a great day. Bye.